Good morning, brothers and sisters. It's August 1st, 2018. I have a little bit of a dream I want to share with you today. So this was the night before last, so on the 30th of July, I had this dream. So I was on the water, and I was with a, a man, and we were above the water. <clears throat> And his name was Joshua, and he was uh, maybe a photographer at the time, and he was photographing um, the sea creatures that were underneath us, and there were these huge mega sharks underneath us, <clears throat> but we were on top of the water, and we were safe, and then all of a sudden we were on this road and we were heading to Joshua's house and we were going into Joshua's house <clears throat> and he was like wanting to be friendly and kind and I was just a little worried um, and then all of a sudden a little girl showed up I believe it was his niece it seemed, I thought it was his niece or it was a little girl and she wanted to dance and like a, your little daughter would step on your shoes on your feet and you would take her and dance her as she stood on your feet we did that and we went around the room a couple of times and I looked outside and I saw the name of the street and I can't remember the name, but it said something like the road to someplace. The road to someplace. So, anyways, back in the house, after I was dancing with this little girl on my feet and we were twirling around the room, the TV came on and Joshua was standing there and it was something amazing going on on the television set. And I remember there was colors, red, black, and white. And all of a sudden I said, that's the Pan Star. And that was the end of my dream. So I started doing some research on Pan Star. It's, um, it's in Hawaii. It's a big... Um, area where they look out towards the, um, you know, outer space area, quote, and look for, you know, asteroids and planets and that kind of thing. And this monitoring system is, is called PANSTAR, and it's in Hawaii, and they research and discover new asteroids and things like that. So one of the asteroids, the Pan Star Comet C2017, is the one that's been in the news lately in July, uh, just a week or two ago, about its huge, unusual, rare, and green glowing comet with a tail, and it had a nucleus. And I swear, it looks like a, kind of like a sperm. It's kind of weird looking. Here's um, BP Earthwatch did a video, and here's one of the pictures of it. Um, this is from July 21st. So I'll leave that in the description box below. And that is coming with a close approach to the Earth. I think August, I'm not sure. I think maybe August 14th. Oh, uh, I'm not sure. I'd have to do some research on that. So looking more into this Panstar C2017 S3. Interesting on this chart that I found, it was discovered September 23rd, 2017. Isn't that interesting?
the day that we had our Rev 12 woman with the stars on her head sign in the heavens on that day. That's the day that the Pan Star comet was discovered. Another interesting thing about this, here's the chart where Pan Star is going. I don't know if you can see that. Looks kind of like a heart, doesn't it? Look at that very last date right there. You can see that. That's April 6, 2019. See, and here we are, here, August, right down there. That's August 4th, so right about there. Anyways, that date is kind of interesting because Sister Barbara on God Healer 7 channel, um, she has a prophecy time frame, and her prophecy time frame, which is, by the, by the way, 1,290 days exactly, which she didn't even really know, um, that day ends on April 6, 2019. They don't know what that means. They don't think it is like the rapture. They really don't know what that time frame that she was given means. But it is interesting nonetheless. And I wanted to show you another website. This is Hummingbird027. I used to follow her and she's kind of not been around much. Um, but here she had a dream. And this was her dream. When you see the comet, the end will come. And this was on February 13, 2018. I'll put this in the description box below. But we can just kind of go forward. Her comet, she was doing research was the 21P um, Giacobini Zinner that comet and I will let you watch that video and you can check it out more for yourself but that comet has closest approach on what other day September 11th, 9-11, the very end of Feast of Trumpets, Rosh Hashanah. Isn't that weird? When you see the comet, the end will come. Now, I don't know if the Pan Star Comet uh, will be able to be seen with the naked eye. I think it was. It may be um, phasing out or fizzling out. I'm not sure. But this comet here will be seen, I believe, by the naked eye in certain times of the day. And again, that's coming on 9-11. I, I just put 9-11 and then I put the Roman num number 9-11 in a search engine and of course we have all of this stuff we have the Illuminati, we have the Jesuits, we have our 9-11 disaster all these things which some people have, think, have thought that the 9-11 Roman numerals is the door and then look at that one exit. Isn't that interesting? Exit. Hmm. Curious. So it is also interesting to note that from the Revelation 12 sign, the second part that's so not clear, 
His tail drew a third of the stars from heaven and threw them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was ready to give birth, to devour her child as soon as it was born. Now I know I've talked about this before and adding the, um, the days of a pregnancy to the uh, 923 sign. But think about this, the Antichrist, he is a man. He will be killed, I believe, and then he will be incarnated, reincarnated by Satan himself, and everybody will wonder after him and think he is the true Messiah, which, of course, he's just the copycat um, and he tries to copy everything that the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit do. So it is kind of interesting. He is a man, and this sign of his, the dragon, being throwing out his demons out of heaven onto the earth, the birth of him onto the earth, him rising to power on the earth, if you add a full pregnancy of 280 days to that sign we saw last year on December 17th, 2017, look at that, 923, September 23, September 23. September 23. The eve of Sukkot. Could that be the day that the Antichrist rises? If that is the case, we are going to go before that. Whether it's here around 9-11 or whether it's now in August, I don't know. But if that is the day that the Antichrist is birthed on earth and revealed to the world as Antichrist on Sukkot with the Jews that's their feast that they celebrate tabernacling, living with God they see this as tabernacling, living with their, quote, Messiah, and he's going to be the Antichrist, the Mahdi. He's not Jesus Christ. Jesus is up in heaven. He's coming in the clouds. We are going up in the air to meet him and then going to the Father's house where Jesus is now, back with him. And the Antichrist will rise. So another interesting little fact here about that that's the first day of fall first day of fall it's also exactly 2520 days which is seven years until 9-23-25. That's seven years exactly on that day. Isn't that interesting? To 9-23-25. 9-23. I see that everywhere. 9-23. The date of the comet being discovered. 9-23. I mean, it's just... It's incredible. The things that are happening right now, friends. Another little interesting note, of course, I think most of you know out there, the watchmen and the wise, the meaning of Joshua in this dream is Jesus. It actually means the Lord is salvation. It's, a, it's from the Hebrew name Jehoshua, Jehoshua, Jehoshua. And it's the biblical name of Christ. The short form is Joshua. It's funny because I remembered his name uh, because of friends when Rachel had the boyfriend Joshua and they called him Josh and she says, no, his name is Joshua. So, 
Friends, we are really in the very last days. Um, I know the time is short. I know so many of us are being attacked in vicious ways, whether it be our own physical bodies, which I have been. I am. T I thank you for your prayers, friends. Or it's financially, or some people are being hit spiritually, or some people are being hit with so much slander and hate directed from the enemy by these fiery darts everywhere. We need to put on the full armor of God in Jesus' mighty name. We rebuke these fiery darts from the enemy, Father God. We just ask you, Lord Jesus, to protect us, watch over us, and keep us until we see you face to face. Hallelujah, what a day that's going to be. Amen. So I just want to leave you with Isaiah 55, beginning in verse 6. Seek the Lord while He is available. Call on Him while He is still nearby. Let the wicked person abandon his way and the evil person his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord, and He will have mercy on him. Let him return to our God, and He will freely forgive for my thoughts are not your thoughts and your ways are not my ways says the Lord as high as the sky is above the earth are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts higher than your thoughts amen a lot of things we don't understand and we will not understand until we see him in our glorified bodies we see him as he really is But he gives us strength through his Holy Spirit, and I'm just so thankful. I'm thankful for my brothers and sisters here. I know I'm <clears throat> not alone. I have support, and I'm so thankful that we are all in this together. One body going up to meet the head, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our King, Amen. Okay, brothers and sisters, I love you very much. Praying for each and every one of you that you stay strong, stay close to Jesus. And unless I get any other videos or any other dreams or any other visions and insights, um, I will see you in the air soon. God bless you all. And Maranatha.